Hi, Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today, today let's talk about something that I've been thinking about for quite some time. And that is the fact that full lines in two-handed casting or spade casting have been in steady decline for years. And they've become less and less popular as people move on to head systems like this one. Uh, and there's nothing wrong with this. I fish head systems. All, I've been fishing head systems for a very long time. But I've also been fishing full lines as well. And uh, this is a perfect example. It's an Airflow Scout. It's got Airflow Ridge running line and, uh, of course, the backing. Uh, you put a 10-foot sink tip on this thing and away you go. You go fishing. Very easy to fish and that's their uh, one huge benefit. Very easy to fish because they're so short. And also the other thing is they're quite flexible because you can change the sink tips on them. Uh, they don't require much in the way of specialized skill. I mean, really, uh, a couple of hours worth of instruction and you can get somebody casting reasonably effectively, maybe up to 50, 60 feet. With something like this, they can actually get fishing and catch fish. So they have their appeal. They're flexible. They're easy to use. They're, uh, you know, you can, uh, you don't need multiple spools as I explained before in the previous video. Uh, you just need one spool with running line on it and keep changing the heads on them. You know, lots of possibilities. However, there are downsides, and this is the shame about the reason why, you know, the fact that full lines are in decline and there's less and less choice out there for full, full lines. And some manufacturers don't even offer a full line at all in, uh, for two-handed casting. It's everything is heads. So uh, are we losing something here? Well, let's look at the three lines I have. I have my shooting head line here, or Skagit head, Scout head. Call it whatever you want. It's very short. It's, uh, I think, 17 foot long. And if you put a 10 foot tip on it, it makes it 27 foot long. The whole thing, skip, tip and head. Okay, this is an old Aeroflow Delta. Uh, and it's the green Delta. It's 55 foot long. All right, that's the head on this thing. It'll take sync, sync tips. It's a multi-tip system. It'll take sync, sync tips, no problem. And this one is a slow intermediate 75 foot long belly. Okay, so 75, 55, 27. Keep those numbers in mind. 75, 55, 27. Here's the interesting thing. With all the years I've been spay casting, I found certain things have been very uh, consistent. Uh, oh, and also I include overhead casting in this too. And that is how much running line can I actually shoot without a problem? How much will it actually go? So when you're talking about shooting running lines, let's talk about three scenarios first. We have a stripping basket, which I use in Cape Cod. And that has been the scenario where I've got the maximum distance out where I actually had 70 foot of running line off the reel using an old airflow uh, cold water salt 40 plus line intermediate. So the head was intermediate, the running line was intermediate, which made them easier to cast for distance. And I had, uh, I had a cast where I had about 70 foot of running line off the reel. That's the maximum I've ever done in terms of shooting running line. Uh, I've also fished off of rocks where the running line is just laying on rocks. Uh, the maximum I got there was about 65 feet. Uh, when I'm fishing in, you know, and waiting, uh, if the, cat, uh, the current is fairly strong, and let's say I'm ankle deep in relatively strong current, so there's not a, uh, a great deal of the running line actually in the water. It's the tips of the loops are just touching the water. That uh, scenario, I'm able to get about 55 feet of running line off the reel. Uh, and as we, you know, slow the current down, as I get deeper in the water, more running line is soaked into the water, I get down to about 45 feet. So let's use that number, 45 feet of running line off the reel, as my standard because it covers pretty well all my fishing eventuality uh, yeah, yeah, situations. Uh, you know, as I say, some I can get better, but 45 is basically my minimum that I'm going to get off the reel uh, if the conditions are not great. So that's basically where I stand. So if I have this 27 foot system and I toss 100, sorry, 45 foot of running line, you know, I am now, what's that? Uh, 45, 65, 72 feet. My cast is 72 foot of line plus whatever leader I'm using. So let's forget the leader. 
72 feet with the airflow of delta it's a hundred with this line it's 120 and keep in mind I can shoot 45 foot running line with this I can shoot 45 foot running line with this that 45 foot running line is even held true when I was casting an 85 foot long belly and I've got that on video I was shooting 45 foot running line so that 45 foot running line isn't dictated by the type of head that's on the end of the running line rather it's being dictated by the drag of the water on the running line as we cast that the cast has to pull that running line out of the water and in doing so it sucks energy out of the cast so if I am thigh deep in slow moving water and I've got you know a lot of running line off the reel there's an awful lot of drag as the head of the line tries to pull that all out of the water and it doesn't matter what the line is if it's a Skagit head a Scandi head a mid belly a, you know a short head long belly doesn't matter about 45 foot is about the most I can cast before it will run out of juice because all that drag of trying to get the running line out of the water so if you're looking for distance and you want easy distance you don't want to work for it you're gonna have problems with this kind of line the short head because really the amount of running line you you're able to cast and get off the reel is really being limited by drag uh, and yeah I know we could get mono which would go a little bit further and blah 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 I know we can play with running lines and get a little bit better but the bottom line is you're limited by the drag and that's why when you put it on rocks it goes further when you're you know the loops are just barely touching very fast currents it goes better if you've got a stripping basket it goes better all those conditions improve your odds fly deep in slow water 45 foot that's the maximum I can get and it's simply the drag on the running line point number two let's say I'm using this setup with this 27 foot total length and I am in an ideal situation so I can get lots of distance and I've done this what's interesting is because this head and tip is so short the energy for the cast rolls through the head so the head is flat and the sink tip is flat going through the air and you lose distance because the energy is flown flowed through the head you can actually cause the sink tip to kick over uh, if you uh, have a lot of energy so you've made this beautiful cast tons of energy uh, your running line is sitting on some rocks so it goes there's no drag maybe using mono is even better and this thing just rolls out and because the energy is flowed completely through the head you won't notice this on 70 foot casts but try to get this 100 foot and you'll really notice it you run out of head basically head and tip and if you've got too much energy it causes everything to kick over and crash so that's the advantage when you move up to even just moving up to the short head system which is 55 foot long that's enough to prevent that from happening so you can get that 100 foot cast off and have it all rolled out nice and smoothly with no crashing and kicking around and all that kind of good stuff when I've been fishing in Cape Cod and I'm going for those 100 110 foot casts um, what I'm doing and the head is only 30 foot long I would have the same problem if I tried to cast that head for long distance except for one thing what I'm able to do overhead casting is I slip about 20 foot of line into my back cast turning the head essentially into a 50 foot head so the energy has to flow through the running line before it gets to the head of the line so it in effect ends up being like a 50 foot head and I can carry that energy right to the end of the cast so those are the two things that's going to limit our distance with a short head line uh, like a Skagit or a Scandi is first off is you know the the drag of the running line coming out of the water the second problem is the fact we the energy can flow through the head uh, and all the way out the other end causing it to crash and we end up with a mess and we don't get our distance so that's why I say it's a shame that running uh, long belly lines and mid bellies and short head lines all those full spay lines going out of uh, style basically is we're losing a lot uh, without realizing we're losing it 
And, you know, I haven't even got to cold weather yet. This is my cold weather line. I mean, I can cast this 80 feet without doing any stripping. You know, if, I, if I'm in, a, uh, you know, air temperatures like minus two Celsius uh, and I'm getting guide icing, not being able to strip is great. So as a cold water line, they're great. If you just want to pick up and cast, they're great. If you don't want to have to be constantly stripping line in, I mean, you can catch fish on the strip. So there's pluses and minuses to stripping. I'm not going to get into that argument. But the bottom line is there are advantages to the long line in the fishing, not just the casting. So, you know, we're not in a position to change the decisions of the line manufacturers, but don't automatically jump to the short head. It's worth spending a little bit of extra time learning to cast even a line like this, a 55 foot head. Just learn to cast it well and it improves your fishing right off the bat. The only time this really gets to be a problem is if you've got trees right behind you. But other than that, you know, and even then you can use a single spay and you can get it off. So keep that in mind. I know, you know, fashion dictates that full lines should be going the way of the dodo, but seriously, there's a lot of advantages to them, so don't abandon them too easily. Cheers.